Hey there guys, this is Minute Sylvester and welcome back to this Elixir programming language tutorial series. So in the last video, we started off a project where we built a system to manage our own personal collection of books. So we were able to add books and update their status as if they're completed or not. So before we do anything else, there's a small thing that we should do. A correction from the last video. So if you look at our migrations, so we created the table book and this is not supposed to be in the singular form, but this should be in the plural form. So we have to fix this. So to do that, just change book to books in your migration file. And now we have to drop and rebuild the database. So to drop the database, run the command mix actor to drop. And now we should see the message, the database for books inventory has been dropped. So once that happens, let's just recreate our database. And now let's run the migration. And now the table name should be books. So that is done. So one more place we need to fix this is in the schema file and you have to change this to books yeah so that should do so let's test if everything is working fine and let's start our project so i'm adding a book so let's say And the author is Robert Kiyoshi. And yes, I've finished reading it. And it seems to be working fine. So the change is reflected. I will just add a couple more books. And one more book. Okay, so that should be good. So with all the corrections done, let's jump into the video. Let's revisit our plan from the last video. So our project is books inventory. And we were talking about three tables. We said books. Then he said you know thoughts about that books let's call it remarks and then we also talked about a wish list if possible so the books now has name author and completed so once they have completed We will say the remarks they should be allowed to put their overall learnings and now let's just call it learnings overall learnings it just sounds weird so overall satisfactory where they can list how satisfied they were with the book. The wish list, we'll see if we have time in this video, otherwise we'll have to do a separate video for it. Now that we have revisited our overall plan, let's get started with our next table, which is the remarks. So we have to create a migration file for that. And I'll call it create remarks and now we have our migration file so let's tell it what to do so I'm going to say create a table called let me just increase my font size a little 
I'm going to say create a table called remarks. I'm going to add a field learnings, which is going to be a text since this might consist of a couple of lines and then I'm going to call it overall satisfactory and this will just be a string and finally we have to add another field called book id and this is a reference to the table books and we have to pass in another option so on delete this will specify what to do if the book is deleted so if a book is deleted what happens with the associated uh, remarks so i'm just saying for now delete all so this will delete all the associated remarks to the book that was deleted so we should be good So let's run our migrations now. And there we go. We have our table remarks. Now we should create a schema file like we did for the books table. So let's create a new file called remark. Under the books inventory folder and let's start writing our code. So we have to define a module and this should be books inventory dot remark and we should advise it to use schema and now we'll say schema remarks actually it should be in codes do is a field called learnings which is here it should be listed as a string and then a field called overall satisfactory which is a string and then it belongs to a book so we won't be indicating as a field but we will say this field is used to indicate that it belongs to the table so books and you should also mention the module name so it's books inventory dot book this is apps okay we should be good now and go back to the the book file and we have to indicate the association here too so we have to say has one remark and we also have to mention the module name so books inventory dot remark Actually, it should be a book so we should be good now now let's define our change set function so it will take into parent the remark and the parents which is by default an empty map We'll say remark and pipeline it to the next step. This actor or so we have to cast the params and 
the ones that should be entered into the field are learnings and then the one satisfactory and then book ID and let's also validate the fields except for book ID so we'll say gene set dot validate required and so it's done our schema file is ready so let's just go ahead and write the functionality for this stuff okay now let's open up our books inventory.ex file and start writing the functionality for adding a remark so let me put it over here or maybe over here okay so def add remark for a book and we have to list all the books first and then we'll get the corresponding id the reason i'm using id is because if you search by the book name then it has to be entered exactly the way it is in the database so that makes it difficult for the user you know it's best to use the one thing that appears common to everyone when you're designing these applications which is more console based so in our case the id is an integer and it will look the same to everyone so i'm just using that so we'll say enter the id corresponding to the book and yeah we have to do the extra work and we also have to convert it into an integer so once that is there we'll say we have to get the book now we'll just put remarks for and then let's get our learnings I'll say be brief and get rid of the cutting new line character. And we'll do the same for all satisfactory. ask how satisfied were you in a nutshell example good good very good okay so once that is there let's Go over here and alias this. So we'll also alias remark. Now 
will say in learnings will be learnings all satisfactory will be all satisfactory and yeah and the book id will be the id we actually got as an input so finally we just have to insert say case report dot insert and we have to insert remark here and then case now it has to be okay remark in that case we have to say Okay, it has to be a dot. And say remark inserted successfully. Otherwise, And will not care what it is. We're just going to say the only reason the error can occur is if the user left something empty. So we'll say please enter proper details. And once this is done, we should call the start function again. So we know what we have to do. Say four, and we'll say add a remark, and five will be exit now. And then we have to change here too. So we'll say add remark for a book and then start again in case of five it is exact so we should be good to go now and yeah this is actually being used let's say Okay, so this should do. So let's try adding it. So let's say add remark. So, okay, let's say crushing it. What did I learn? I learned how to use social media to run businesses. And I was very satisfied. So I'm going to say very good. So it is added. But we are not really able to see this and that is a major functionality we are missing. We need to list all the books along with the remarks. So we'll do that and we also have to add a warning if the book is not completed. So we'll do this in our further steps. So let's just get rid of this now. And 
and once you have the book let's first of all clean this up a little new line over here and if book dot let's say if not of book dot completed not completed this book and then we'll write a function maybe at the top to list inventory with remarks so this is going to be very similar to the function above and we'll say books the only change here is that we also have to load the association So this statement right here, you know, unlike uh, frameworks like Ruby, where you have everything available in Phoenix or in Elixir projects, you have to specify to Ecto that I also need the remark. So this statement right here, report or feed or instructs that whatever you're fetching, fetch it along with the provider, the provided uh, association. You know, if you have more than one association to a table, then you can pass this in as a list. But we only have one now, so I'm just going to keep it simple. So after that, it is pretty much this. So I'm just going to copy paste this. And now the only change that I have to make is Am I missing an end? It seems I do. Okay, I think it's better writing it again. Anyway, I forgot to change. Okay, so that was it. Okay, we should be good now. So anyway, I wanted to add a line that says the first thing I'm going to be putting is a name and then the author and then completed and then we'll say learnings and in the end i'm just going to say overall satisfactory okay now that's done so now we can use this And then let's just get rid of all the stuff you know maybe we'll also add an ID over there the author and then completion status and 
and then we have preloaded the association so book dot remark dot learnings and the end a book dot remark all satisfactory so i think this should work let's give it a try we need to add this option so should this be the first option i'll just add it over here for now if anything we can change so virus list your inventory and six is exact Okay, so let's try this. So if we have done everything properly, we should be seeing our inventory. So let's start our project and i just want to see my inventory and so it is nil so there is some kind of error with our preload statement so let's try something else so we'll just say remarks now and try that again no it's not so there is some other error okay i realized the mistake we've been making so this is remark so i add a statement called i dot inspect so inspect will convert any data type into a printable character so when we run this start the project now list the inventory you can see that this particular book does not have a remark so when you're accessing learnings from a nil so it is simply an error so we need to consider this end case so what we have to do here is actually pretty simple we'll just get rid of this part so we'll show up to book completed and if the book has remark will show the other part too so which will be puts slash t and i think i can get rid of this and the other thing is book dot overall satisfactory so we should be good now give that a try so it is working error the learnings not found so what was our column again so is there a typo in my 
No, there is not. Okay, so this is remark. So we should be good now, and we need to get rid of the inspect statement. So let's do it again. And I want to list my inventory and there you go. So it's working. We have everything needed. And now I'm going to just exit. So if you did look at it, we created a new table today, made an association with book and so how the association works in elixir so we created a schema file for remark and then we created a has one relationship for book and remark so each book has a remark and in the migration files we also specified that if a book is deleted then the system should also delete all the other remarks associated with it so that being done, we also saw how to like add a remark, so which is over here. So add remark, we get the book and we get the other inputs from the user and then we pass the remark with the book ID. So then we wrote a function which lists all our inventory and most importantly checks if there is a remark and if there is then it lists the learnings and the overall satisfactory for that particular book so this is where i'm going to stop now so we did learn how to make associations and there was an important learning based on keys you know we missed to check if it is a nil so that was actually a pretty good learning even for me so as I said, uh, this is where I'm going to stop now. You know, you can try writing a function for updating the remarks, you know, getting it and then updating it. So that is for you to try. So you can do that. And if you feel like anything is not proper with what I'm doing, feel free to comment and let me know. And uh, if you like feel I could do better code or like if you come up with a better solution for the same thing I'm doing, please do share it you know through anything like github if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel this is minute sylvester signing off and until next time keep coding